So I am always saying that I am inspired every day by my students. Now, maybe that seems like something that I say just to be nice or maybe just to curry favor with, with you, my beautiful students. But this is an example of, of what I'm talking about. So um, last week I uploaded a video where I did a spelling test and I received this comment. Um, Watched as Christian had a spelling test and it was funny, but I have a little remark. When you do some tests for yourself, it's better to be honest. And if you have doubts about which of the options to choose, it means you do not know the answer for sure. So if you're guessing, you're just deceiving yourself by getting a better score. And then it says at the end, um, so when I have doubts about which of the options to choose, I choose the option which I know is wrong for sure. And therefore, I'm getting an estimate of my level of knowledge, not of my level of guessing. I mean... <laughs> This is a person who really understands what exams are for. Now, I've talked about this before in previous classes, and it's really important to understand that exams are not about getting that certificate, okay? They're not about getting that percentage, okay? Exams really are about knowing where your problems are so that you can go back and fix them. And so by, by following this, this person's advice, which is incredible advice, it's great advice, it's intelligent advice, it's advice that I've never seen from, from a teacher or anybody. But by following that, yes, you, 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 you become part of that process. You admit that you understand that exams are about knowing where your problems are so you can fix them. And this is an example of what I'm talking about, inspired by my students every day. Recently, a lot of people were asking me to make more grammar videos. So today I'm going to teach some grammar. Today I'm going to teach something which people ask me about a lot, which is can, could, and be able to. But before I can teach you about that, I want to show you something. Now, I want you to think about the verb to be, one of the most important and fundamental verbs in English. And now think about the conjugations of the verb to be. Let's look at them. Am, is, and are. So, not only are these three conjugations very different from each other, but they are all really different from the infinitive be. I mean, these three words don't even contain the letter be. Think about that, because that is going to be really important in a moment. So, the first thing you need to know is that can and could and be able to, they are modal verbs. Modal verbs are special types of verbs that give us more information about other verbs. These verbs cannot exist on their own. They tell us about the probability or possibility of the verb after. Now that's really important to understand that concept. But there's another concept to understand that there isn't just modal verbs. There's modal verbs and semi-modal verbs. And the difference is just that modal verbs can be conjugated and semi-modal verbs can't. Now, maybe you think that can and could are actually the same verb, two different conjugations of the same verb, but they're not. Can and could are actually two separate, completely different verbs. Can is a semi-modal verb, and could is a true modal. 
can talks about ability, things that you can do. I can play the piano. Well, no, I can't. <laughs> I can play, no, I can't play any instrument. I can play football. No, I can't play. I can cook. No. Um, I can teach English. Could talks about probability, things that are possible or not possible. Like maybe in the future, I could play football. I could learn to cook. It's about probability. They have two completely different meanings. And that means that also they have different conjugations because we know that modal verbs like could don't have conjugations, but semi-modal verbs like can do. So now let's have a look at these verbs in the present, the past and the future. Okay, so first let's look at could in the present. And that's easy because we don't conjugate verbs in the present tense. I could go. Now, let's look at could in the past. Now, if you want to use a modal verb in the past, you can't conjugate it. You can't say couldd. But what you can do is you can use the present perfect with a modal verb to indicate the past. So to use could in the past you would say I could have gone. Now what about the future? We know that there are no conjugations for modal verbs so how do we use could in the future? Well we have to use context. We have to indicate the future in some way. I could go tomorrow. Or if we're talking about the future what will you do tomorrow? Well, I could go. It's only indicated by context. Now, let's have a look at the semi-modal verb can. And that's where you'll really start to see the difference. So, in the present, it's easy. I can go. But now look at the difference between could and can in the past. The past of can is could. I could go. But see the difference? I could have gone talks about probability. I could have done this, I could have done that. Whereas I could go means that you had the ability to go. Completely different. And finally, let's look at the future. Now, can we say I will can or I will could? No. So what is this strange conjugation for the verb can. How can we use can in the future? Well, do you remember this? Do you remember how much the verb to be changed and became completely different from the original? Well, it's the same with can. The conjugation of can is be able to. Be able to is can. So in the future, we would say, I will be able to go. It's getting quite late now, but before I go for my run, I'm going to spend some time doing one of my favorite things, which is answering people's questions in the Facebook group. So if you have any questions, that is the place to ask me. Otherwise, I'm Christian. This is Kangaroo English. I'll see you in class. I don't know what's going on. I hope I'm on your mind. On your mind. I've got 70,000 friends. So I guess I'll be alright. Be alright. I know someday we could finally be friends. <laughs>